warm greetings to everybody dear students today we shall study about water clock a time measuring instrument water clock is a time measuring instrument that was used in the ancient times when people do not have much resources to look at the time that time people also used to look at sun moon and stars to find out the time water clock is such a instrument which was devised later on by china to find out the time manually so ha let us have a look at the apparatus the apparatus consist of a stopper to control the rate of flow of water down to that you can see a funnel shaped cone in which the water is being collected from the water supply tank water supply is given to the system via a big tank placed outside the apparatus there is also overflow tube which is connected to the stopper when the stopper is pressed the overflow tube will take out the excess liquid excess water and it will drain it out the funnel shaped tube is connected down to a big beaker which is made up of glass inside which the water is being collected drop per drop side to that is given a measuring part you can say a ruler or a scale to measure how much milliliter of water has been collected here inside this beaker you can also see a floating cork the cork is floating and the upper part of cork is connected to a scale kind of a thing wooden scale kind of a thing which have small grooves right which have small grooves or you can say irregularities these grooves are fixed to the gear these grooves are fixed to the gear as in the groove will move the gears attached will also move the gear is connected to a needle needle is pointing on the 24 hour clock children so this was all about the apparatus let us know more about the water clock the very first water clock was made by china they also call it clepsydra it is a greek word which means water thief in this clock the time is measured by the regulated flow of liquid into or out from the vessel the principle of working depends on the regulated flow of water inward and outward so you can say that it works on the principle that is the inward and outward regulated flow of water the name is given water clock because it uses the flow of water to measure the time now let us discuss a few factors on which the working of water clock depends the water clock working depends on the movement of gears i told you in the apparatus about the gears movement of gears and second the pressure of water from the water supply tank let us now understand the working of the water clock as you can see it is a same diagram we need to focus on two parts the parts marked as point a and the parts marked by point b the point a is a cork which is floating on the water the level of water will rise the cork will float upwards when the level of water will be less the cork will go down the level of water will increase in the water clock if there is inward supply inward regulated supply of water right when there is inward regulated supply of water the cork level will rise because the water will be flowing inside the glass beaker and the glass beaker will be filling drop by drop so the cork will rise up as in when the cork will rise up this attached wooden frame will also rise up which has grooves as in the wooden frame with the grooves will rise right up it will push this gear system when the gear system b the gear system of the b part will be pushed so it will move as in the gear will move the needle will also move pointing the next number in the 24 hour clock 
so this is the working of a water clock let us have a look at one of the ancient water clocks used in china during the war times this is a big water clock placed near a seashore the china used to have it during the war times i hope you all enjoyed this video you all liked this video it proved informational for you if you enjoyed this video like this video please share it with your friends and subscribe the youtube channel thank you dear audience thanks a lot